hello students we will continue with the same chapter and now we will discuss the classification of animals on the basis of their body structure animals are broadly divided into two categories vertebrates and invertebrates vertebrates are those animals in which backbone is present and invertebrates are those animals in which backbone is absent now vertebrates are further divided into five types so the animals that have backbone are divided into five types they are much larger inka size bada hota hai or they are much stronger if it than invertebrates jo vertebrates hote hain their size is larger and they are much stronger than invertebrates so vertebrates can be divided into five different types species amphibians reptiles apes and mammals now we will discuss these vertebrates one by one so first category is fishes now fishes normally they live in water they live in water fishes these are included in fishes they live in water therefore therefore these are known as aquatic animals and they have lungs they do not have lungs they have gills for respiration inside the water and they have scales and fins on their body kis liye hote hain scales and fins fins help them in floating in water and they have scales uh, so that jo water hai wo unki body pe retain na ho sake so that that's why they have scales on their body and they are oviparous that means they are egg-laying animals and they are cold blooded now what are cold blooded animals cold blooded animals are those animals which do not have a constant body temperature their body temperature normally changes with the environment unka body temperature fluctuate hota rehta hai environment ke sath so that's why these cold blooded animals they are not suitable to live in extreme temperatures ye bahut zyada cold mein bhi nahi reh sakte aur bahut zyada hot jahan pe ho wahan pe bhi nahi reh sakte so they can only survive in average temperature So that's why these are mostly aquatic or terrestrial. These cold-blooded animals. Then next type of and these definitely these are going to have backbone. Then we have amphibians. All of you know amphibians. They can live on both land and water. Example of amphibian is frog, cod, salamander. These are crocodiles. These are two example of amphibians. They usually have lungs when these are adults but when these are in their uh, premature form uh, for example in their life stage when these are quite younger at that time they have gills because at that time they they surviving in water most of the time they are in water and they have moist skin unki skin kaisi hoti hai moist and example is frog toads salamanders these are two examples of amphibians they have rapid rapid diffuse होते हैं so that they can easily swim in water and they can live on both land and water that's why these are amphibians and these are oviparous that means these are egg-laying animals or again one time pe even fishes and frogs they both lay number of eggs bahut zyada quantity mein eggs lay karte hain one time and these are also cold blooded animals that means they also do not have constant body temperature and these cold blooded animals are also known as oikilosmum now we have apes apes are usually bird birds are known as apes and apes include birds they have no ears they do not have external ears but they have ear hole internal ears are present external ears are absent and even middle ears are absent and they have feathers and wings for flying they have two legs and they are also oviparous that means egg-laying animals and these are warm-blooded warm-blooded means they have constant body temperature and they can easily survive in extreme temperatures these are warm-blooded and these are body crates that means they have backbone then we have mammals mammals even human beings are included in 
mammals so mammals they have mammary glands for milk and they usually nurse their young ones with milk these mammals that is one of the main quality of mammals and they have hairs on their body and they usually they do not lay eggs they give birth to young ones and these are they have hair or fur on their body and these are warm blooded animals that means they have a constant body temperature in the body temperature kya hota hai constant that's why they are capable of surviving in extreme temperatures even human beings are an example of mammals now we will talk about invertebrates invertebrates are those animals that do not have backbone inki backbone nahi hoti so these are smaller and simpler than vertebrates invertebrates can be of six different types sponges worms mollusks cnidarians arthropods and ichnodonts these are few types of invertebrates now we will study these invertebrates one by one first one is sponges sponges now they normally in seas or oceans they have what type of level of organization is there cell level organization jab humne discuss ki thi to kiya tha sponges is an example of cell level organization that means they do not have tissues they have only cell to perform all body functions they are non motile that means they cannot move from one place to another mostly found in seas and oceans take food and oxygen through pores in their bodies all of we know that all animals are heterotrophic that means they cannot prepare their food by themselves they depend on plants for their food or other animals for their food example coral cycon spongia these are example of sponges then we have cnidarians now cnidarians they have radial symmetry what is radial symmetry radial symmetry means their body can be divided into their body can be divided into two equal parts from any plane then mostly they are aquatic they are cnidarians they are aquatic and their mouth is surrounded by tentacles finger like projections that are known as tentacles dekhe aapne thread like structure present hai inke mouth mein these are tentacles and they tentacles these tentacles help them in catching the prey prey ko catch karne mein help karte hain example is hydra jellyfish these are few example of cnidarians now worms worms are also invertebrates that means they do not have backbone these are soft these are cylindrical which crawl or creep they can crawl or creep example tape worm earthworm ascaris these are few example of worms and worms can be basically of three type flat worm round worm and segmented worm फ्लैट फॉर्म की बॉडी कैसी होती है सिलेंड्रिकली होती है इनकी बॉडी फ्लैट होती है एग्जाम्पल टेक फॉर्म देखा होगा आपने उसकी इमेज देखिए आप गूगल पे इट इज फ्लैट दीज आर नॉट सिलेंड्रिकल देन वी हैव राउंड फॉर्म्स दीज आर सिलेंड्रिकल बॉडी दे डू नॉट हैव फ्लैट बॉडी बट दीज आर सिलेंड्रिकल बॉडी एग्जाम्पल इज कैरस देन वी हैव सिगमेंटेड फॉर्म्स देर बॉडी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू डिफरेंट सेगमेंट्स एग्जाम्पल अर्थ फॉर्म लीच then we have mollusks now mollusks they have soft and slimy bodies they usually live near the water ye kahan rehte hain thode moist place pe rehte hain they live near water or in water they can be of two types these mollusks they can be with shells or without shells with shells example snail oyster and without shells example octopus and slug Now, next type of invertebrates are 
arthropods now arthropods the normally have jointed legs this is the highest variety of species are present in arthropods bahut jyada variety of species present in arthropods now these are usually diplodocid that means three joints there are present they have their bilateral symmetrical what is bilateral this symmetry that means their body can be divided into two equal parts from one plane only and they have jointed legs unki legs kaisi hoti hai pair mein hoti hai normally they have hard and protective outer covering part exoskeleton example cockroach mein dekha hoga apne exoskeleton present hota hai hard covering hoti hai and they can be found on land air and water they can be also they can be of four type insects archaeids crustaceans and myopods now if you talk about crustaceans they have hard exoskeleton and internal skeleton is absent in these crustaceans if you talk about myopods they have more legs than insects in the legs so that we can differentiate between insects and myopods the number of legs are more in myopods now we talk about insects their body can be divided into three different parts head thorax and abdomen in the body ko hum three part mein divide kar sakte hain and they have three pair of legs two pair of wings and one pair of antenna ye dekhe hain jaise cockroach mein hai this is pair of antenna is also there example cockroach then we have archaeids archaeids they usually have four pair of legs we can differentiate between insects and archaeids insects mein three pair of legs present hai jabki archaeids mein four pair of legs is absent hai and they usually do not have antenna example scorpions and spiders then we have crustaceans they have two pair of antenna and have pair appendages example frogs lobsters and crabs then we have myopods they have large number of body segments and they have usually 20 to 400 legs example centipedes and millipedes ab dekhe ho ki body normally segmented hoti hai myopods ki aur unki legs ka number bhi bahut jyada hota hai 20 to 400 an example centipedes and millipedes then we have ichnoderms ichnoderms they have hard and sharp spines all over their body unki bahut sari body pe kya present hoti hai spines and these are exclusively they are only found in sea water and they are radial symmetrical unki kaisi hoti hai body kaisi symmetry present hai radial symmetry that means their body can be divided into two halves from any plane kisi bhi plane se hum Now the chapter is over. Thank you.